crystal ball let me see the future How are y'all doing? All right, before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up. Let's get this video over 400 likes. Let's do it, boy. All right, the switch light, it's been officially revealed. That's right, and alongside the smaller switch, aka the light switch. We have a release date, <coughs> September 20th. But all the leaks and rumors said Nintendo wasn't working on not just one, but two new switches. A mini switch, which we now know is a switch light, and a slightly more beefed up switch. And data miners have discovered it's supposedly dubbed the nude will lauren just subscribed while i was recording huh. but data miners have discovered that it's been dubbed the new nintendo switch which they're saying the specs are similar to the new switch light a more efficient slightly more powerful um tegra x1 but the big question and the reason why you clicked on this video with a dude with a surprise face in every video it's because you want to know when is going to be the launch date. Before I say anything else, let me give you guys some street cred ability. That's right. Cut the beat. Cut the, cut the beat. Check this out. Man, this dude's handsome. September is the date, the month that the... This was recorded in June. All right. Which many will be launching. Look at what game. You know a game launches in September? Starting in September, the big game is Zelda Link's Awakening. Huh? Huh? All the way in June? I said Zelda Link's Awakening? What day does Zelda Link's Awakening? September 20th? The same day Nintendo confirmed... Oh, oh, those Jedi powers. And so, for this video, I'm going to give y'all two dates. Two dates that more than likely will be the launch dates for the Switch Pro, a.k.a. the new Nintendo Switch. I don't think... All right, now, and here's my theory. First, the first date is possibly also September 20th the same date as the switch mini and we get no announcement zero news even when it launches nothing is said the box is going to look just like the current switch box and nintendo isn't going to have anything changed no new SKU numbers anything and it's just a switch that's more efficient um, with, uh, because because the processor is still the Tegra X1, the, the um, difference in processing power is could possibly be so minimal that Nintendo's like, it's not even worth calling it anything else. And in production, while they're putting the new chips in the Switch Mini, they're putting the new Switch, the new chips in the new Nintendo Switch. Don't know why I keep doing this, because it's cool, bro. Um, and so, <coughs> one possibility, September 20th, the same day. And we're not going to find out until Digital Foundry does a analysis video. And so, you know what? There's a more powerful switch on the market. And that's how we're going to find out. Nintendo's going to sneak in that new processing power. That's one possibility. The second, which... I'm slightly leaning more towards is 
this game right here. Mark this. Whatever date, and I think we're going to get, at the whatever the next Nintendo Direct is, <coughs> we're more than likely going to get a launch date for Animal Crossing um, New Horizons. Whatever date we get for this game will be the date for the new Switch. And I think Nintendo's either going to call it the new Switch or the Switch Plus. Not anything major like a Switch 2 or Switch Pro since the upgrade is going to be minimal. And if they actually call it something else, that means we the, the, the changes that they've done to the system can be, it will be noticeable where we can see smoother frame rates. Um, higher resolution and so forth which is what I'm hoping for I'm hoping that it is a slight um, um, more than just a minimal bump that we can see actually see some differences Nintendo actually gives it a different name the switch Nintendo switch plus um, and we get a better gaming experience and so those are the two possibilities either September 20th or spring alongside Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm telling you, bruh. Dudes are going to start believing the Jedi, bruh. I have an excellent batting average, bruh. I'll be hitting them home runs, bro. All right. A couple other news items before I shut out this video. Dude. <coughs> Fantastic news for Super Smash Brothers. It's now been reported that the EVO 2019 Super Smash Brothers registration is the largest registration for a Smash Brothers tournament ever, bro. EVO is going to be lit, bro, for Smash. Smash Brothers takes the number one spot. Guess how many people are going to be in this tournament? 3,000. 492 participants that's insane for a fighting tournament takes the crown and uh, one of the sponsors shout out to silver fire he's been telling me that he's probably heard something uh, um, or um, there's a possibility that um, the new DLC fighter um, could be announced at Evo we have to wait and see um, but Evo, Evo, Evo has recorded Evo 2019 will be the largest Smash Brothers tournament ever. I'm, I'm not, not that the hero would be, um, the release date would be announced, but we could get the next DLC fighter announced at um, Evo, which would be dope. I want to see what the next fighter is going to be. Um, not too hot for a hero from Dragon Quest. Banjo Kazooie is lit. Give us another lit fighter, Nintendo. Dope news for um, Super Smash Brothers. Also, <coughs> there are Amazon Prime deals are going on today. Today is Amazon's Prime Day. My wife was, well, she be finding them deals. Um, but if you're a gamer and you want some deals for your Nintendo Switch, some pretty cool deals. One that stood out to me. Joy-Cons are on sale right now for 60 bucks. They usually cost 80 bucks, so about a $20. You can save 20 bucks. So check out Amazon's Prime Day if you want to get a discount if you're itching to get new Joy-Cons. Also, um, Prime members can get a Nintendo Switch console with a free $35 credit um, towards any game of your choice on the Nintendo eShop. For the same price, $300. Nintendo ain't dropping the price of the Switch. They're just going to add bundles and special deals like they're doing right now. So if you buy a Switch today on Amazon and, and you're an Amazon Prime member, you get a extra $35 eShop code, which is pretty dope. And there are a couple of other games on sale uh, for the Switch on Amazon's Prime Day. Pokemon Let's Go. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, Final Fantasy X, X2 HD Remastered, and Diablo 3 Eternal Collections are all on sale. Go to Amazon.com and get them deals, boy. All right. Those are the news items for today.
Before I leave though, Marvel Ultimate Alliance drops this Friday, bro. I haven't seen too much um, Nintendo doing too much publicity for this game, but day one by, going to be playing this with the sponsors. If you want a game with your boy, join a dope, a Nintendo Switch gaming community. Three ways to join on t through a Twitch subs, um, YouTube membership. There's a join button right below, or you could sponsor on Patreon. You get invited to our private Discord game every night with the sponsors. Lit, lit, lit. We're going to be gaming launch night, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. We're going to be playing it. Online multiplayer is going to be fire. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. Peace.